What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose. You are awesome and I saw a Reddit post the other day about an American school teaching kids the Chinese alphabet, which is ridiculous since I don't believe either Mandarin or Cantonese has a phonetic alphabet. But it got me thinking, how the fuck do Chinese keyboards work if there's no phonetic alphabet? You can't just replace the G key for the Chinese equivalent because there is no Chinese equivalent. I decided to go down this rabbit hole and figure it out, but before that I wrote down how I thought it could possibly work. I'm sure this will seem silly once I know the correct answer, but half the fun of having a brain is trying to use the damn thing, so here goes my theory. I'm guessing there's a limited amount of shapes you can use to form a word in Chinese, so instead of having keyboard inputs for letters, you would have inputs for shapes. So you start inputting various shapes until you have the word you want to use, and then you like hit spacebar to move to the next word once you're finished. And, and you would you would move down, not right, because I go top to bottom, right? I don't, I don't know. I suppose you could also have keys for like common conjunctions and shit to make it all easier. That's my guess. Now let's see what's actually correct. Turns out there are two main methods used in mainland China, and I was pretty much spot on with one of them. It's called Wubi, I guess? Wubi, Wubi? Hubi. It works damn near exactly how I thought it would, but they don't have completely separate keyboards, they just use a standard QWERTY keyboard and add labels for the symbols to the keys. The keyboard is divided into five different areas with different types of pin strokes represented. The first area is for horizontal strokes, the second for vertical, the third for diagonal right to left, four for diagonal left to right, and the fifth area for hooks. This is apparently the fastest way to type Chinese with most words only taking like three to four strokes to form. Imagine if you could type every word with four or less letters. That's kind of cool in my opinion. Then you have pinyin, uh, again, sorry if I'm pronouncing these just totally wrong, which is the method taught in schools throughout mainland China. With the pinyin method, you just type the word using a phonetic alphabet and a program just translates that shit to Chinese. I don't mean that you like, you type bread and then the Chinese word for bread pops up. No, you type what the Chinese word sounds like. So bread in Chinese is mian bao. So you would type something like mian bao, and then the computer offers you a list of words it thinks you're trying to say. This to me, Sounds like a French word for bread in the ass. If you've ever tried to use Google Translate, you know that shit ain't exactly accurate. Chinese is also a very tonal language, so two words can sound similar, but have completely different meanings depending on your tone of delivery. You would have to already have like a really good understanding of Chinese in order to use the pinyin method. You can also just use a frickin' tablet and write that shit down, but that doesn't really fit with the theme of what I was looking for here. So there you go folks, some probably useless knowledge that you didn't even know you wanted. While I did my best to look things up and understand them, I'm a bit of a dummy, so if I got something wrong, please correct me in the comments. Like the video if you found it interesting, subscribe for more gaming content if you want. I'm not going to devote my channel to odd questions. I do have a few lined up, like how do they make threads for like threaded pommels in the middle age? Anyway, it, I'm, I'm a bit of a curious George, but for now, this is the Mangoose signing off. This pig has been fucked. Mangoos. Special shout out to channel members Foolish Blood Hunter Jelly Knees Meow Mix for Men Stunt Ferenth and Raven.